Morning, dudes. So, guess what came in today? It's a brand new day. It's a Saturday morning. Um, <laughs> I woke up. I heard the doorbell ring. I ran to the door because I knew I had to write a signature. Um, so, I had to throw all my clothes on and I'm like, oh, what up? Like one eye, you know, trying to. Anyway, <clears throat> guess what came today? A brand new box. Pretty cool, huh? Brand new box. I won't show you that side. Let's see what we got inside. Hmm? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. So, I know I said I wasn't thinking about getting this because of the rolling shutter. However, in the application that I believe that I'm going to be using this camera, it could be very easily corrected in post in like a second or two. So, I decided to give it a shot. I've never tried a Sony camera before. I know the menu system pretty uh, different in comparison to um, like Canon, for example. But I'm willing to give it a shot, nonetheless. So, let me open this up. This is what it looks like. Camera strap and we got a battery or this is actually the charger battery uh, eyepiece and then we got the cable to charge the battery so there's actually no battery charger you have to charge the battery within the camera which is kind of an interesting setup also what's interesting is it came with the lens already attached. Interesting. First initial feels, I like it. Feels good. Yeah, in comparison to the, the can that I had, I dig it. So far, so good. This actually has like a power zoom. So I got the... Uh, I got the 16 to um, 50 lens because the other one was just massive, 18 to 135, and it was 300 bucks extra, basically. So, and if I'm if I'm doing it for like this sort of, you know, length, a 18 is actually really really close. So this is at least 16. First time using the flip out. That's not too bad actually. That works very well. When you see them do it, like, when you see other videos do it, it looks like it's such a pain in the butt, but it's actually, I'm trying to get like a good background so you can actually see it. You just flip it, whoop, 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 and it's back. Oops, there it is. It kind of has like rugged little uh, sections, so it's like bam, bam, we up. All right, I got a phone call, hold the phone. Hello. All right, phone call is done. So overall, so far, first initial thoughts. I like the feel of it. It does feel good. When you look at yourself, it's going to be like that. Boom. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, bud? Yeah, we're doing good. And I believe in order to get this boop, little flash of Roni, it's kind of like a weird, uh, I don't know. It almost... Hmm. It makes it like a nice slim body look, though. But I don't really use a flash. I haven't really had to use a flash in the past. But at least it's there in case, you know, in case you need it. But I am excited to give this a actual whirl in the real world. But I figured I'd give it a shot. I had some gift cards anyway for Amazon. It ended up being like 700 something dollars. So not too bad. This is the one that comes with the lens. So, if this doesn't work out, then uh, I don't know. We'll figure out what's going on. <laughs> we'll have to figure something else out. But what I do want to do with this, there is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens that you can get, and it looks great. And I want to get that. However, it's like 600 bucks, I believe, used. It's seven. It's basically seven to. It's like six to seven hundred dollars. Um. But. 
for right now, I figured this this kit lens would be fine. Yeah, like the grip doesn't isn't bad. I almost maybe like it more than than the M50. Just because like it, it almost feels like it has like a little bit like thicker of a of a uh, a handle. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Like I just feel like it like wraps more and I don't know. It's easier on the bottom because my pinky always falls at the bottom anyways. I'm also thinking if I do stick with this, I'm probably going to be getting a cage for it, which goes around it, which will add a little bit more of a girth to it. So I don't understand why they add the, these things. They rattle, you know, I'll put the video, the, the battery in most likely it's not even charged, but let's find out. I have a video card already. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Open, locked. Yeah, it's locked. Yeah, this thing's dead. <laughs> oh, and uh, and this the spinny actually spins, which I was wishing the the Canon would have because it's much easier just to like scroll through photos like this if needed than like, you know. Overall, so far, I'm liking it. I think it's gonna be good. No ibis. However, we opted to go for the one with the screen, so we got the uh, little dual flippy upper. I think it'd be better if, if it's on a tripod over yonder. I'll be able to actually make sure it's looking at me, you know? But, dude, overall, I think it's a really good looking camera. It's not huge. Huge. You have a little flipper upper. You're able to uh, make sure you're in the middle of the screen here <laughs> or to the side. Whatever, you, whatever shot you're trying to get. I don't know. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see how it goes. If uh, if I'm not a fan, I guess I'll have to return it. But uh, I think it would be a fan, dude. Not going to lie. It has a nice weight to it. Everything feels pretty good on the backside for buttons. I dig it. So far, so good. Cool. I'm going to charge it up, and then uh, maybe I'll even try it today. Stay tuned. Later. <gasps> Wow, that looks so clear. What's going on, YouTube? So, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. This is me in my new camera. I believe we're actually in uh, 4K right now. We're in 4K, shooting at uh, 30 or 20, 25 FPS. F3.5, an auto, and I can see the face tracking is getting me pretty good. And what's, what's really cool is uh, I can see my voice levels. There's two, actually two channels, channel one and channel two. So that'd be really neat if uh, you had like an external mic and you would you would pl unplug it and plug it in again. You don't have to keep changing your levels, which is awesome. Autofocus on. I'm liking it so far. It tells you what your battery actual percentage is. Right now I'm at 76. Um, it tells me the day that I know. We got two hours, two hours and forty minutes left of record time, um, and currently we're recording at one mi one minute so far. I like the overall aspect as to what it shows you on the screen. Um, hopefully, the quality is pretty good. Um, I haven't actually looked at it on a physical monitor. I've only seen it through um, the the back of the camera display. So we shall see. And also, it's going to be recording the audio from the camera. However, I'm going to be using uh, this audio in the actual video. Maybe I'll do both of them so you can kind of get a test as to what it sounds like for me to you. Like I have a whole arm's length in between me and you, right? And we're we are not zoomed in. We are all the way at 16 millimeters. This is 50. So uh, we can always just you know have the video just like this the whole time. We can we can really look into inside each other's soul. Right, you know, whatever you whatever you prefer, but uh, yeah, and also it's a reversed image as to what I normally see when I if I stream, because uh, I don't need that in the video. That's stupid. Anyway, hopefully the video quality is much much better. I did return the Canon M50. I liked the Canon over the the actual size of the camera. It felt very nice. It was very portable. Um, it was only like five hundred and sixty bucks, so it it wasn't like oh if I drop it it's gonna break like it like this camera is almost almost double not quite i got on amazon you know it's only it's the one with the 16 to 50 mil 
uh, millimeter lens. So it's nine, nine something. Plus I had some Amazon gift cards. So it ended up being only like 700 bucks for me. So with that being said, do I keep it? I like it so far. What I want to do is get a small rig for it. Um, and that'll add extra protection to it because it has that metal frame all the way around. I can still use the flip up screen, which I really like. I like the camera screen being right above um, the actual lens. I just find it to be much more enjoyable than the flip out to the side because then you're not like I'm pretending I'm looking over there, but I'm really not. Now I'm looking at myself up top. Can you notice? Probably because I'm looking sort of down at you. But if we were like up here, can you still tell? I'm looking at myself right now in the lens, in the, uh, not the lens, but the, uh, the flip up. Maybe you can, I don't know, but regardless, I like the way it looks. The actual feel of the camera feels really solid. You know, it has a good weight to it. It's not like too, too heavy. It's not too, too light. Um, the grip, I actually like the grip because when I, with this camera, it's not like huge. So it, your whole hand doesn't grip around it, but like your pinky always kind of goes underneath. This one, I feel like it kind of like slants down so your pinky can kind of support it and it doesn't feel like any rugged edges or anything like that. It just feels very form-fitting. Also, if you get the the other small rig for it, it's going to make the grip a little bit bigger, which would be cool. Um, and it shoots in 4K. So I'm really curious to see how this comes out, how that looks on screen. We shall see, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I'm curious, is this uh, worth the upgrade from the M50? Um, my previous video had both my um, webcam, my C920, as well as the M50. Because I had, what I do like is having two cameras. One, I can use my webcam as like a, a stationary face one. And then if I want to have like an overall head view, I can use a tripod and I can use a camera like this. That's how I got those shots down here because my webcam wire is not going to be reaching all the way over here on my desk. Um, <clears throat> but let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. Um, I like it overall. Uh, the picture quality is pretty good as long as you're not like we did some testing yesterday while driving in the car. And we're like, oh, let's take a picture of that, 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 that. And, you know, you're moving. So it's not like a stationary object. So it was kind of not the greatest obviously because everything was just shooting in auto um nothing was manually configured and and you're moving but anyways you can take some really nice stills from what i've seen on online as well as in person i've taken some nice ones in my opinion also what i think is cool is i got rid of the 30 minute time limit which is sweet because we're already at six and a half minutes so only 24 minutes left but yeah, you put the battery inside, you charge it with a USB. And what's nice is I actually have an outlet right there. So if this was my webcam, I can charge it all in one swing. No uh, no external items needed. However, the only bummer is I don't have, if I got multiple batteries, I would have no way currently to charge the other battery if I only had to charge through here or only could charge through there. Just some movement. It seems to be going pretty well. There's no issue with like rolling shutter at this point because I'm not like moving around. But regardless, you can you can change that in post very, very easily. But let me know what you guys think. That eye focus is crazy. It's nutty, dude. I can just see it's it's in constant focus right now. But and it looks really good. High eyes, so low lighting. Let me know. And uh I'll make some more videos, guys. Take it easy, as always. Thank you for swinging by. If you like the content, please feel free to drop a like, sub to the channel, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you, man. And uh, take care, dudes. Have a good night.